Zena, Warthog Princess, and this is a what's in my bag video for my pickleball bag that I'm currently using, which is not meant for pickleball, but doesn't matter. But I'm switching from my Lighten Up Journey backpack in Wisteria to my new Adventure Travel backpack in Sunny Medallion. This one I just got for the online outlet sale. So let's look at what's in this bag and needs to go to this bag or whatever. So the journey backpack is quite large as well. It is, I think, bigger than this one, but has a lot of similarities. I will come back to this bag. It is a great pickleball bag, um, but anyway, I'm just changing it up. So in one side compartment, I have some spray-on sunscreen because I was at a tournament and I needed a little extra protection. I added a clip on the top, so just a big clip so I can hang it on the fence. And then on this side, I have several items clipped to the side handle. I have my pickle pods ball in a ball. So this is just a pickle ball in a carrier. <laughs> so there you go. I've got a hand sanitizer and my medic alert hooked on there as well as a random extra clip. So it's a spray hand sanitizer. And that's it for the outside pockets. This back side pocket is where I keep my phone. So I always know where that's at. And then the laptop compartment right here, I put my paddle or paddles. I usually put one there and then I often have a spare in a separate thing inside, but currently it's outside because I was test fitting it in that bag. So we'll move both over. I don't have anything in the glasses compartment. In this pocket, I have some keys clipped on. This is my truck key and my tow car key, just because I'm gonna go on a trip and I'm gonna take those with me. I have my snack bag, which is a Vera Bradley. Um, it's a packing cube. And that's all I have in that compartment. So I'll zip that back. This front zipper compartment is a pretty flat compartment, but I usually have my zip ID and lanyard in there with whichever vehicle I'm currently using as the clip-on key. In this case, it's my motorhome keys because we're leaving tomorrow. And I'm going to pickleball and leaving straight from there to go to Bisbee with a friend. Hey, Lisa. Anyways, um, and then I have, only thing left is the main compartment because I don't have anything in the shoe compartment. So what's in this main compartment? I have, I always have a sweatshirt because it's Arizona, but it gets cold at night or sometimes in the morning. I have two bobsleds. These are lug items. I have black rainbow stitch and my um, Christmas lights on. I don't care, whatever. Um, one has sunglasses and one has safety glasses because sometimes people get a little crazy out there. I usually don't wear either one because my eyes sweat a lot and they always get fogged up. Several pickleballs just kind of thrown in the middle of the bag. Not always, but there you go. Then I have some spare clothes and some first aid things. We'll go through those pouches in a minute because we're going to empty them. And that is all. That's all I have in there. Feels like there's more stuff, but it's just because it's a the bag itself is a lot more rigid and heavier. Um, that's fine. Okay. So moving into this bag. First thing, let's put the paddles in. I have two paddles. I have they're both Selkirk, they're both purple, and I have wrapped the handles. I have my um, paddle name tag things on there, and I put washi tape on the sides pulled up. Hi Kelly, you want to say hi? Hi baby. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You gotta go. There you go. Go later. Go later. Alright, so um, this is the one I'm going to use in the morning, so we'll put this one in the extra compartment there behind the Velcro. So cool that you can put two in the same compartment and it's padded and it's padded from each other. I love that. And they both fit very nicely in there and that's all that goes in that compartment so they are now secured in the back okay the i'll just do things in random order because that's how i'm operating at the moment this ball and two of its friends because i have a black one and a green one they're all three gonna go on here i'm just gonna clip them right onto this i don't know what it's for strap but look how perfect they're on the bag but they're not in the way of anything 
and they're always with me. So whenever you get on the court, people say, anybody have a ball? I'm like, yeah, ball in the ball. There you go. Um, so there you go. So two of these balls will end up in a ball on there, and the other one will just get out of the bag. Okay, so we got that. The sunscreen, yeah, I'm going to need that for tomorrow. And where's the... The other miscellaneous hand sanitizer and whatnot. Okay, so I can still put it in the side pocket. And there's no clip thing there. So what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of reach over here and clip it to the front. Hold on, I have a plan. Cause there's an extra clip here. So I'm gonna use that extra clip to lengthen that distance. So now, hand sanitizer is in the pocket, but it is secure, so if it flops out, it's not gonna get lost. There we go, so not crazy. And it's not really blocking the zipper, so for the moment, I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, front compartment. This is the compartment that I had this bag in. This has some random snacks. I will share with you what those are. I also was putting my my grab-and-go wallet, if you will, in a front pocket. Probably it will still be the same pocket because there's not really the same amount of pockets. That's okay, but I'm gonna leave it out for now because I need it to drive in the morning. So it's going, but there you go. The phone and the key um, will probably go in this mesh zipper pocket right on the top when I'm playing. So it's with me and it's covered and the other keys go right here where they were in the other bag and they are clipped on there and secured in the bag. I just noticed that my key fob matches the inside of this bag. That's cool. Okay, these are glasses, but they are protected. So I'm gonna put them in the bottom of this pocket as well. There we go. Okay, okay. So let's get into pouches. I do have this new pouch. So I'm gonna put some stuff in, and some of the other stuff is not gonna be in a pouch. And some of it might stay in the same pouch it's in, I don't know, for now. Let's see, I have some fruit snacks, Mott's, got the Mott's, they're just fruit snacks. I have some dry roasted peanuts in a Ziploc, a couple of Valentine's lollipops that someone gave me at the courts that I threw in my bag, which makes sense. That's garbage. I've got some fruit snacks, like just little fruit leathers. This one is wild berry organics fruit strips. And then I have that's it, apples and strawberry and apples and mango. I have some gum, some Costco trail mix, and a tube of Cliff Energy Blocks. They're like gummy blocks. And they have nutrients. These are black cherry flavor cool so that's what was in that bag this bag has i think all the things that i haven't been using but need oh a cooling towel that needs to definitely go forward sweat towel wet wipes i don't really need the wet wipes a couple of sweat towels though because they're great a little portable fan Oh, this I got as a gift. CBD cooling formula cream with menthol. That should probably go in the first aid thing, not in my everyday bag. Got some tissues. Some more tissues. Got in the bag. Got sunscreen lotion. I've got a wrist thing to mark server. I've got a elastic headband. I've got a nail file because I always end up needing that. And this is a cooling headband or neck thing um, that can be used when it's wet. Um, so I think actually what I'm going to do is for now keep that there and take that out. Okay. So we got food stuff and we got not food stuff. And this is extra stuff like some gloves if it gets cold. These are just generic. They're knit, but they're um, they're nice. So, because I don't care about them, I paid seventy five cents for them at a flea market. 
at the RV show in Quartzsite. <laughs> but your hands get cold sometimes, and I don't, my hands don't often, but when they do, you gotta keep them warm in the winter. These are some sun sleeves for your arms. So I have a couple pairs in there. I've got white ones. I've got, oh, that's another different version. We'll get back to that. Got a pair of socks. Some other gloves. And actually, these are great to loan out because my friends have little hands. Skinny socks, so I have thick socks, thin socks. Warm mittens, these can come out. It's not that cold anymore. I've got a knit hat and a visor because sometimes I forget a hat. So there we go. I'm gonna leave all these things. Maybe we'll leave it all in the big one and move this stuff in there with the big one. I don't know. This is shin or calf, calf sleeves which isn't so much for sun, although you could, but I was having a lot of random um, Achilles issues and stuff, so I just wore those for a little while to keep my calves warm. So I have them, they don't need to be in the bag, um, but I just kept them in there in case I had shit, you know, cramps or whatever, because I had a tournament, it was packed for a tournament last weekend. And then I've got some um, just ankle supports, they keep your ankles warm, they keep the Achilles supported. So I was, like I said, I was having a lot of foot problems and Achilles issues. All that's not been a factor, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out, actually. They can go back in on tournament day, but I don't need to be in there. So I've got gloves, hats, socks, sun sleeves, and I've got towels and miscellaneous. So that can all go together. And that's another bag gone. Okay. So this, what this is, is sun sleeves, but it's kind of interesting configuration. So they're connected to each other and you just, I don't know which way is up or I don't think it even matters, but you put it over your shoulders and they come up and around so that, I don't wanna put them all the way on. And they have a thumb hole there, so they're good. But, but if you have issues like me, because I have these big upper arms and sometimes they'll roll, the sleeves will roll down or they don't stay nicely, these stay perfectly. And they're thinner, so super portable, and you can put them over your shirt, under your shirt, whatever you want to do there. Okay, so miscellaneous pouch. This is pretty comprehensive, but not full. And then this stuff will go in the, the food pouch. That's what we're gonna make it. Okay, so we got energy blocks, gum. Yeah, so all this stuff I just kind of keep in my bag. I don't get into it every day or all the time, but sometimes it's just for someone else. Like, sometimes you're just out there for four or five hours and all of a sudden you're starving. Now you got a little something just to plus you up a little bit. So, got the food in there and the not food in here. And I've got this big compartment that they're going to go into together. Put my clip for the fence. That will just hang nicely on the wall. The main compartments, here we go. I'm gonna put the clothes and miscellaneous stuff on the bottom. And there's plenty of room. Then the food stuff on the side there. And you can see they fit right next to each other, no problem. And that still leaves a lot of room on the top of the bag for the sweatshirt, which I always just throw on the top. I just kind of fold slash roll it. I'll put that right on the top. So now I am essentially packed and ready for tomorrow, except I'm going to put the other pickleballs on here. Yeah. The last thing is where I'm gonna put the phone and the wallet thing. Yeah, that's gonna go in this compartment in that mesh. I definitely think so. It doesn't even have to go in the mesh. You can just throw it in that pocket. Um, the last thing is this I did not just buy, but I did have on hand. This is a lanyard. It's a lighten up lanyard in Sunny Medallion. It's a wide lanyard and these are nice. I prefer the skinny ones, just personally. But it's a lanyard with a loop and a clip. Sadly, I do not have a zip ID to match it, 
but I can use it with this if I D because it's purple and there's purple in the pattern. Or I could just use this one, which is my plan right now, is just to use the one I was using with Wisteria and go that route. But I do have this and I will keep it with the bag because that just makes sense to me. And I think I'm gonna put it in the pouch with the food stuff. That's not necessary, but there we go. So now I know where to find it. Right down the side of my bag, perfect. And that is what's in my bag. We're all set for pickleball. Let's go play. Hope you're doing well. See you again soon. Coming up, I have another Vera Bradley haul from the retail side, as well as a lug haul, or at least part of a lug haul. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.